We're very excited. Um, we are going to embark on a program that will offer the chance for patients who have lost their hands, either from accidents or perhaps our military, to be able to have the restoration of a hand or hands that they will be able to feel another touch, that they will be able to have a handshake with another human being, and that the muscles will work, that they will sense it, and we think this is a very important gift to give to somebody if we can provide it safely and effectively, which is our goal at UCLA. We are at a center that has been at the forefront of transplantation science, transplantation medicine, and transplantation research for the last quarter century. So we've married the elements in the transplantation side to leaders in hand surgery and reconstructive surgery to be able to bring this incredibly new and advanced program to UCLA. It involves multiple structures, two bones, two arteries, four veins, three nerves, and almost 20 tendons. The challenge becomes the immunology because the hand that's being transplanted is similar to any other organ that's been transplanted, so that it may reject. So we have to place the patient on appropriate immunosuppression medications. We have to place them on the appropriate medications so that they don't reject the graft that was given to them. The program at UCLA will be the first on the West Coast to offer hand transplantation. They tell us that the ability to reach out and shake a person's hand, to hold the hand of their child, their wife, their husband, that nothing can replace that for them. The human touch, the human function of a human hand for some people is irreplaceable. And to give that gift to them, if we can do that, I think is something that here at UCLA we can be very proud of. Mm -hmm.